Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the daily upload and welcome back to a freezing day in the United Kingdom. And today, top 10 best S1 cars in all of Forza Horizon 4. So, to the intro. Okay, and before we begin, the route that I selected to test all these beautiful cars was this. The Zanch YT Ambleside Sprint, and the share code will be on the screen for you right now if you'd like to try it out yourself. But pretty much, it starts at Ambleside, and it's 7.8 miles of beautiful driving along the country roads, all the way in the back streets, all the way past Glenmanoch, and ends there. That is a route we took for this and where the specific tests were handled, the sharpest corners, the hardest downshifts, and I thought what better of a place to test these beautiful cars. So, let's get straight back to the video. Okay, and to kick start us off at number 10 on our list is the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Now this thing was surprisingly poor. Poor performance, poor handling, I think the aerodynamics on this tune was a little bit off so I can't really hate the car too much. But at the top end, at the rev limiter, it was very underperforming. That was because it was limited to S1, so it was only producing 502 brake horsepower. But the Ferrari did a 3 minutes, 25.374, and that is our benchmark time to beat. But it's quite surprising how poor this car did. I thought it would at least do a 3 minute 18, because it does handle quite well when it's stock. But at number 10, the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Bringing us to number... Nine on our list is the Audi RA V10 Plus. Now, just like the 430 Scuderia, I had higher hopes for this car, but it let me down round the corners. Very, very uncontrollable amongst the back end and very slippery at the front end, surprisingly. Now, it is limited to S1 tuning, so it was down on power yet again. I know for a fact that with the fully upgraded, you know, S2 class Audi R8 V10 Plus, it would destroy this time. But the S1 Audi R8 did a final time of 3 minutes 22.537. So at number 9 on our list is the beautiful Audi R8. Bringing us to number 8 on our list is one of the DLC cars in the game, the TVR Griffith. Now, this thing was an absolute joy to drive. It only, the only negative factors I found, it was very lacking in the high end, and I had to downshift a lot to keep the speed up round corners, only because it's limited to S1, but it has very effortless gear changes, mind you. Now, this thing clocked in at a 3 minutes 22 0.371. That is two split seconds faster than the Audi R8 V10 and also two, no, three seconds faster than the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. But at number eight, we've got the effortless but down on power TVR Griffith. Bringing us to number seven on our list is the 1992 Honda NSX. Now this thing is one of my favorite cars and because of that, I absolutely dropped a gear and disappeared. It achieved a final time of 3 minutes 20.835. Now, it has a lot to do with the tune. The S1 tune on this was absolutely fantastic. The way the aer aerodynamics were, the power, the gear ratio, everything worked in sync. And because of that, it's the seventh fastest car on this list. But at number seven, the beautiful Honda NSX. Bringing us to number six on our list, a quite unexpected one at that. Now, the Lotus Elise GT1, yes, same here. Now, this was surprisingly very well handled. And because of that, it achieved a final time of 3 minutes 20.668. Now, that is three seconds quicker than the NSX. That's mainly to do with its rear spoiler, the aerodynamics, and also this had more power. It's 601 brake horsepower, but it's an absolute awesome S1 car. You can't really tell the difference between this and the Honda NSX because it's really marginal. But at number six, the beautiful GT1. Bringing us to number five on our list is a very unexpected one again. The McLaren 570S. Now, modern day engineering baby. High power, high gear changes, and very, very nice aerodynamics made this car achieve a 3 minutes 20.371. Now, the only negative factors I found were it was very slippery around corners and it felt a little bit lacking in 4th to 5th gear. But apart from that, an absolute gem in the S1 category. The McLaren 570S at number 5. Bringing us to number 4 on our list is a timeless one. The McLaren F1. Now, let's talk about true 
race bread cars. This was an absolute gem to drive. Fantastically well built. The tune on this was perfect. Handled well. The only negative thing is this. The revs were too high round corners. That's the only thing I found negative about this car. When I was taking it round sharp lefts and sharp rights, I had to downshift a lot because it was hitting 9,000, 10,000 RPM. So I had to balance that out a little bit. But apart from that, an absolute joy. It clocked in at a 3 minutes 20.003, a whole 3 seconds quicker than its brand new 570S. But a number 4, the timeless F1. Bringing us to number 3 on our list is probably the best gear changing car here. The Alfa Romeo Forza Edition. Now, when I tell you effortless gear changing, so silky smooth and so quick and because of that it achieved a 3 minutes 19.918 a whole 5 seconds faster than the Ferrari 430 Scuderia this was perfect the power was there the weight was there the tires were there and of course the gears were there this has to be one of the best an effortless gear changing cars on this game. But at number three, the beautiful Alfa Romeo Forza Edition. Now, our runner up at number two. Guess it. Have you guessed it? Yes, you have. The beautiful and effortless Bugatti EB110. Now, very, very unexpected. I didn't know how good this car was going into this. Handling, perfect. Gear changes, Perfect. The only negative thing I felt was, again, like most of these cars on this list, they are capped at around about 600 brake horsepower. It felt very slow at the top end, but, nonetheless, the handling was perfect, and because of that, it achieved a final time of 3 minutes, 19.867. Absolute joy to drive at number 2, the beautiful Bugatti EB110. Bringing us to number one on our list, a drum roll please, is the Pagani Zonda C, an absolute effortless masterpiece, the way it ate through corners, that absolutely Dolph Racky screaming engine round the bends, an absolute joy to drive. The only negative factors were the power to weight ratio was a little bit off because it is an S1, you've got to bear that in mind. It's 602 brake horsepower, it felt a little bit limited but nonetheless the tuning was perfect, the aligning was perfect, the gear changes were immaculate and it shifted and because of that it achieved the fastest time on this list. Uh, 3 minutes 18.967. Thank you Pagani, you are the fastest S1 car in this game and today soldiers if you enjoyed today's video give it a like please and I'll, I'll catch you tomorrow in tomorrow's daily upload take care of yourself keep that bank account fat drop a gear disappear bye bye